Well, as those temperatures start to heat up out there, more people are getting their pools ready for the summer. Uh, but we all know how dangerous that can be, especially here in Arizona, really, as you're mentioning, year round. So Tess is at Lifetime Athletic Club in Phoenix um, with how they are kicking off the swim program and uh, some important safety reminders for all of the kiddos. Hi, Tess. Good morning, guys. You know, we can't say it over and over again, right? We know we'll always watch our kids around water, but there are also some things you can do at home to make sure your kids stay as safe as possible. So that's why we're here at Lifetime Fitness up here in North Phoenix talking with Andrew Wheeler, who is the manager of the Aquatic Center. Some kids in the pool, they've been doing so great out here, getting them used to the water. That's certainly important. Yeah, definitely. Let's talk about some of the tips and let's start with establishing what you call uh, a swimmer to non-swimmer ratio. What does that mean exactly? Yeah, so we have uh, a ratio here that we keep. So we have one swimmer to every uh, three non-swimmers. Uh, it helps us just kind of keep track of everybody. It helps you guys keep an eye on uh, who needs help and keep everybody safe in the water. So important to do if you're having, say, a pool party or a few friends over to make sure you keep that ratio as well. Exactly, yeah. Okay, what about important rules that we have that you guys talk about being able to go as far out, you know, with kids compared to where an adult is out? Yeah, so we have a 25-10 rule here. Uh, so basically how that works is if a kid can swim 25 meters uh, continuously without touching the bottom or the sides, uh, they get a wristband and it kind of helps because that'll have us uh, be able to distinguish what kids need help in the water uh, and what kids have to have parents within 10 feet. So if they can't make that 25 uh, the 25 meters, then they have to have a parent within 10 feet. Okay, that makes sense, of course. Now, a lot of folks will be spending time at different public pools as well or maybe at big swim parties where they'll have a lifeguard, but that's not always the case. You can't expect a lifeguard to always be watching your child. Right, not always the case. So we always recommend that you keep visual contact of your swimmers uh, and any non-swimmers that you may have uh, at your parties, events, or even when you come visit any pool that you're at. Now we talk about swim safety, sun safety in general, and making sure you take breaks from the water and the sun, right? Yeah, definitely. So about every two hours is a good time to take a break, uh, rehydrate, take a little bit of a rest, put on sunscreen, uh, and then get ready to go back again. And refuel, because I know the kids, I have to keep reminding my drink water, drink water, drink water, so you don't get dehydrated. Now, one thing we talk about that can make a difference in saving a life, if needed, having to know or having to use CPR. Yeah, so getting CPR certified is definitely a big help. Um, you know, in case something does happen, you will be more prepared and ready to assist as needed. A lot of folks will teach their kids the basics of swimming. They're obviously learning here at a young age. A lot of people use those like uh, those floaties. What are your suggestions on that? Yeah, so we suggest that you use a Coast Guard approved water float. Um, so that's going to be something that's non-inflatable um, and of course Coast Guard approved. So those would be the big life jackets, the puddle jumpers, that kind of thing. All right. And then, you know, it goes without saying common sense, folks. Tell your kids, remind them, don't run around the water, right? Yeah, so we teach the safety basics. Don't run around the pool. Uh, don't go into the water without an adult and always have a meeting place for after swimming. You know, we had to talk about that. Even adults should let someone know when they're going to be in the pool just in case. You never know. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then the last thing that we suggest, too, would be investing in swim lessons. We think that that's a big deal. Um, that's really what's going to get your kids water safe and ready for, for swimming in the water and swimming all summer long. All right. Great tips indeed, Andrew. Thank you so much. And speaking of swim lessons, a lot of folks will be starting to consider, all right, maybe it's time we get our kids, whether it's to uh, refresh their memory on some of their swim lessons or start up swim lessons. What do you need to know before you choose where to go or what your child may need? We're going to talk about that coming up at 945.